Hi everyone. Our pitch today is about shifting from doing school to real learning. And how are we going to make that happen? By breaking the restrictive molds and modeling school on the learning to experience. We brainstormed our beliefs and our ideas about what we thought learning and school should be like. Then we collaborated with some elementary school students and we arrived at agreed ideas about what our prior priorities would be for school. These are belonging, collaboration, Ownership, problem solving, connection, and relevance. So just to reiterate again the problems that we think that we face. The first one, as Sam mentioned, was the ice cube timetable that parts learning and makes it disconnected. The second one is subjects. We break subjects down into little teeny tiny bits and we miss the bigger picture. The third one is time allocation. One of the things that the children talked about is how they feel really rushed and harried as they're running between maths and art and those subjects often don't have links between the two of them. Finally we have these classroom cages where we put children into boxes day after day, week after week month after month. Teachers control where the kids, what the kids are learning, who the kids are learning with, and where they're learning. And finally, we group children by age of manufacture, not for enduring relationships. Sorry, hello. Yeah. Uh, we don't aim to break any systems yet we have to be grounded in reality and therefore we want to start small by looking at um, the learning tool structure which is very inspiring to have an extended session like bit of the day where core subjects or core skills in traditional settings are taught and then you have this long period of unconferencing kind of a schedule where kids can drag and drop what they want to do from the options that they have. This promote authentic learning, authentic interest. This would also create a sense of time that is a lot more fluid than it is in traditional systems. Uh, there will still be cohorts, just like we have cohorts here, and they will be monitoring and reporting and all that kind of stuff. Um, lateral leadership means giving the community a voice. There will be leadership from parents, teachers, students, experts in the community, uh, members of uh, 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 the community in and outside the school, and finally, and as this was, as you were informed by students uh, on, on, on response to our questions, they'd be grouped by stages and not by age. So guys, we've identified the problem. We know what our dream is, but what are our steps? How are we going to action this? So I'm going on an aeroplane at 5.30, my mind is going to be rushing. But here are some, some things, some really serious steps that we know that we can take and you can come on board if you wish. The first is to, we're going to plan our very own L2 style conference day for our teachers and action match. Once we've done that we are going to develop protocols for any L2 day and make those public. We're going to plan and action an L2 conference day after that for our students, obviously involving the whole community. From that we're going to reflect, we're going to collect data, and we're going to think about how we're going to do things better, how to get the, the, the ball rolling. And then we're going to refine our protocols for what the L2 day is, for any L2 day. Finally, our big vision that we think is reasonable and achievable is to create an L day manual website where anybody, including you guys, can go on and make it into something that can work for you. And when she says we, she doesn't mean we, she means we, because you all have to be part of that. 
And the beauty of this is that it's a disruption that anybody can do. If you work in a really traditional school, you can do one learning two days a year. Or you can do one month, or one week, or one grade level, or one teacher. It's scalable and what you do is up to you. But I like to say I've been in education longer than most of you have been alive. Yes, I have. And I'm not quitting until the whole of school looks like a lonely two conference. Let's all imagine.